Welcome back everybody, I am Quagdar, excellent to see you returning. If you have not done so already, please go back and watch episode 1, that's going to take you through levels 1 through 15. For episode 2, we're going to travel the rest of the way through 15, all the way through level 30. Episode 2, we're going to see Quagdar finally make his actual appearance. We're also going to see dungeons for the first time. Quagdar is going to also become part of the guild, and we're also going to be exploring a lot more of the world. So we have a lot packed in this episode, so rather than me wasting time talking right now, let's go ahead, let's jump in, and let's get leveling. Ah. Get situated. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Me, 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 me. Good morning to you guys. For the horde. Horde mug in the house. So welcome back, guys. We are exiting our little inn that we were staying at. That nice little little inn. And the inns are a very important feature in this game. Now we're picking up right where we left off. So the previous episode, remember, our goal was to hit level 15. So now our new goal is levels 16 through 30. Ooh, this is a nice little fun fun looking place built by the goblins, other, other members of the horde. So let's go ahead and see what this guy wants. Yes, and we're really close to leveling, by the way, guys. That's the one we want right there. Yes! What a way to start this episode out, seriously. All right, so now we're on this first little quest. It's a little what we call FedEx quest because it's a delivery quest. You know, you just kind of go find some crap. Now, each class has specific stats that you want to look for. Um, and sometimes not even a specific uh, class, but a specific spec of a class. Yes! Yes! Uh, oh, there you go. Okay, oh, you too. Yes, die, fool. So touching back on that, uh, what, what I mean is to enhance your class's abilities, you don't just want to take random things. Specific people can take specific different types of armors. Uh, you have a cloth armor, which will be indicated. Uh, you'll see it right in there. See how it says leather? You know, it'll indicate uh, whether it's cloth, whether it's leather, whether it's chain mail, whether it's plate mail. Depending on your class, it dictates what you can and cannot wear. Uh, so you really want to pay attention to that. And then you really want to also pay attention to the specific stats that are on said items. In the case of ours, we would want either intellect, uh, stamina is always good, and you're always going to have that because everybody could just use more health. And let me just make sure, yes, I'm going to the correct part. And in this case, for our enhancement spec, we want agility. Uh, that's going to help in uh, just our, our overall damage. I'm not going to go too much into the details, but just to be uh, be aware of it, that's how it is. You know, you have to really be, be conscious about it. So if you're wanting to play this game, uh, pick your class and, and your character creation screen, it'll kind of tell you what you want to go for, as well as your, your stats uh, and your, your specialization and your, your talents sheet will, will tell you what you should be looking for. My god, I was really hoping we would be done with this area. we have got to do some fightings. That's okay, though. All right, so you guys may remember this from the previous episode. So we have some more quests that are still in this area. So we're probably not going to be jumping uh, forward into some new zones for a little bit. Now pay close attention. Uh, you'll see how the quest objective is highlighted. That used to not be the case. You would have to hunt them down. And Blizzard's just made them way more obvious in terms of what you need to get and what you need to do. Hours have been spent trying to locate stupid quest objectives, and they were just right in front of you. You'd have quests that are like, Please bring us a scrap of paper from over here. Well, you're looking for freaking hours trying to find this damn thing, and it was right in front of you. I know, I know there are a lot of people that, you know, wish Blizzard would have stayed pure to how the old ways were, but I... <laughs> yeah. I've been around for a little while in the game. I, I really appreciate what they've what they've done to to make the experience a little bit more pleasant. Because stuff like that just wasn't fun. Some things I miss, but stuff like that just was not fun at all. Now, eventually, we're going to be able to uh, get to a level and use something called glyphs. Uh, those are little extra specializations that you can help customize your character a little bit more in terms of what their abilities are. Now, I'm really looking forward to one that will increase our little wolf mount speed 
so we can run much faster much sooner. Little tip here, check out the sell price of these things because if you're just starting out, even if they don't have anything you don't want, take the item that's worth more and just sell it. Normally I would get excited over this quest because it's giving us what's called a blue item because it means it's, it's, it's a rare item, which means it's more powerful. But it's never going to touch the heirloom item that we're wearing right there, which is in the gold text. So yet again, we get to go run all the way back to where we were to do this quest. Okay, so we just queued for our first dungeon. Now we'll see how long this takes for us to actually get in and be able to do it. If you are what we called in the first episode a tank, um, that's no problem. Even a healer. But there's so many damage classes out there, it's going to be very damn hard. So if you have something to do in game, go ahead and do it now. Yeah. You're not going to beat all Quagdar. <laughs> Silly pirate. Ah! No! Much faster. Jump off the damn mountains. Yes, much faster. And you know what? We're gonna bust out the little pug. A little pug puppy. You have a pug. And they put that in there as an inside joke for doing a lot of dungeon finders without friends because a pug in, in the MMO space is a pickup group. So everybody would just call them pugs. So now we have this little guy right here. Little pug. Isn't this much nicer than walking? And I ran, I ran so far away. Where's that river boat? Aha, here it is. Looks like a mighty stable boat. Damn, look at the propeller on that thing. Wow, that is some shallow water. Who else is singing that song in their head, I'm on a boat? I know I am. No, don't take us back here. Oh God, it took me forever. Woo! There's our first dungeon queue. All right, this is our first dungeon. That's the uh, little dungeon uh, screen right here. This one's filled with pirates. Okay, bring in the pain. So we're playing with uh, four other people right now. Oh, look at that. Boom. See, that's what's the great part about the dungeons. They're pretty, pretty quick because you're gonna get a, a fair amount of experience and we are already leveled up again. So boom, 17. We're gonna need on that. Yay! We won that. Next boss. Ooh! It's a short goblin sitting on top of a big dude. That's fun. It's almost kind of something like something out of Mad Max. Remember that? The little guy that was just kind of like sitting on top of stuff? But look at that. Going in these dungeons. Look at how quick we're already leveling up. We're already halfway there. And we just got in. So you see the tank is up front. Absorbing all that damage force. That is a paladin right there. We have a blood elf healer and it's another one of the obviously the horde Horde the horde faction people. So we've made our way through the dead mines up to the final part Which is oh my god a giant pirate ship in a cave Okay, haha <laughs> Wow, we leveled right there. All right, so that was our first dungeon as you can see Going in those dungeons and playing with other players gives you a ton of experience. Ooh, a flight path. Yeah, we want those as much as, as humanly possible. So I'll be looking forward to it in this episode because that's when our actual character, Quagdar, will be making his first appearance. So we're looking forward to that one. He was never play. you know, I didn't start him over from scratch because, like I said in the first video, I got stuff on him that I'd kind of like to keep. Uh, there's a little tabard that you can wear, and once it's gone, it's gone, and it's, uh, they're hard to come by. So I just did not want to get rid of that at all. Muddy tracks? That don't look like no muddy track. That looks like a piece of... In the meantime, we're going to kill this guy and have fun with that. Ruined his day. Over yonder is the quest. Yeah. All right. Get away. God damn it. Uh, is the muddy tracks going up here or something like that? I don't know. If so, they have a problem. Uh, the trail is bloody. You follow it to a nearby bush. I do. I don't know what bush you're talking about. Um, I'm on a oil rig platform, so... Oh, look at that. Nice pieces of crap. 
Now, because we leveled up so fast, we've accumulated a heck of a lot of new skills that I have yet to check out. So I'm gonna actually need to look at the skill book to see what the hell those do. Ooh, see that little silver dragon? That means that this is a rare NPC, non-player character. Anybody that's curious, that we just level again. We are on a tear, gang. We are seriously on a nasty tear. And look at us. We're leveling so much faster than before. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You're doing your work wrong. Just here to tell you that. God, I want to push the red button. Speaking of which, guys, when you see those red buttons, the subscribe buttons for this fun little YouTube channel, please push it. All right, so we are playing bodyguard to this guy because he needs it more than we do, apparently. He's in a giant death machine of a mech suit. He needs protection. He's got giant saws. He needs help. I have two hammers. Just passed by an undead rogue. Those guys are pretty cool. Yo, slow down, boss. Am I fighting a giraffe? That would be rad if at level 20 we get access to glyphs. Because I will glyph this mofo and get him moving fast, huh? I'm just gonna go ahead and run in here and bludgeon you to death, sir, if you don't mind. I need something you have, apparently. So, two agility, yes. That is absolutely... We'll get rid of that. Sometimes, the higher item level n number is not the best. Yeah, we're gonna totally level up when we turn all these in. That's faux shiz. They can't catch us. <laughs> now, I've always wondered this. But in some areas, you'll see little baby torrents. They have the horns. Just kind of chilling there. I feel bad for the mother that gave birth to the children with horns. Had to hurt. Uh, and they're just chilling here alone. Seriously. Neglect. Boom! Ha ha ha! Level 20. Wind shear. Not sure what wind shear does yet. Ah, that's our interrupt. Perfect. That's what we've been waiting on. All right, Shadow Fang Keep is a go. Ah, the mysterious Shadow Fang Keep. Gotta love it. Nice haunted castle filled with ghouls and zombies. Ooh. Oh, good. I was hoping we would kill every single thing in sight. That was sarcasm. That was all sarcasm. Ah, the first boss. Baron Asbury. Oh, five done. Yeah! Look at us. More achieves. More achievements. Yes, let the big cow go for it. This is the courtyard of Shadow Fang Keep. Now, who would not mind eating in a, with a kitchen looking like this, huh? Is that a good looking kitchen right there or what? Ah, damn you, tab target. Always shoots way further away. See, yet again, notice in the dungeons, the experience just rains. Make it rain! With experience. Yes, that's what we're doing. This'll level us probably. Oh. Oh. This balcony. Yeah, this balcony has like no support structure whatsoever. That's completely unsafe. Yes. Excellent. I won that item. Now I'll put it on the auction house for an obscene amount of money. Because apparently that's what's uh, been going on. They have something called the auction house in this game where other players can place items that they want or don't want um, and sell them to other players for in-game gold. Forward horde. Now what that zombie at the door was referring to instead of saying, oh my god, is oh my Sylvanas. That refers to one of the other leaders of the horde. She's uh, actually one of, uh, for me, one of my more favorite ones because she has a very cool story behind her. And she's rather badass uh, character. She's kind of like an ass kicker. So it'd be nice to have a little change of scenery here. We're getting close to the uh, area where the night elves, the Alliance night elves, hang out. Very colorful, I suppose. Yahoo! Twenty-two. So look at that! Isn't that crazy? Just one episode ago, we were level one. Ah, uh, this is the old entrance to the old Warsong Gulch. It's a PvP battleground, in case you weren't aware of it. New flight path discovered. I'll take that all day long. Looks like it's going to start pushing us into an area called Ashenvale. Ashenvale is a very uh, night elfish overloaded area. 
Now I'm not going to give too much shit to the Night Elves because that was my first Alliance character. You, sir, come here! I just wanted to kill you, that's all. Is that alright? And you're healed. That's how easy it is. That's called Battlefield Triage right there. We are three levels away from introducing old Quagdarf. Oh my gosh. Quagdarf is about ready to go rolling in to a bunch of Nelf territory. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Three levels until old Quagdar makes his appearance. Yeah. I can do it too. Look at that. Yeah. I can hit back too. And we're gonna show this person some love in three, two, one. Hello, how are you? Ah, uh, the nice somber sounds of Ashenvale. Very relaxing, very peaceful. And what do I need to do here? Ah! Yes, we must hurry. I sense that my time is short. It is short, and I'll tell you right now, it's at a minute and 30 seconds. And being that it's time is short, you'd think that he would run instead of walk. Yes, he will fall if you get over there. Let's get him up and we can tell him to go elf himself. Did that guy even help? I don't think he even helped. Well, we figured out why he died. Uh, he doesn't do crap in battle. Yes! This is a, uh, this one can be confusing. If you do not know the way around Wailing Caverns, you can get lost very, very easy. And you guys may not be able to hear it because I'm gonna have music over this. Uh, but you hear a soft, subtle wail oh. going on in the background. It's really cool. Kill the Waptas, kill the Waptas. I would like to uh, extend a nice thank you to everybody that's appearing in my video and not realizing it. So if I am questing with you, and we're doing dungeons together, thank you. Ah, these people know this place. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool looking? You know, World of Warcraft really has some fantastic music. And available on YouTube, they actually have the soundtracks that you can listen to. If you're into soundtracks, I highly recommend listening to them. It's quite good stuff. But look at that. We've hit quite a few on this video so far in terms of dungeons. Let's see. We're doing Wailing Caverns. Uh, we've done... Was it Shadowfang Keep? And Dead Mines. That's not bad for one video. Oh, look, Vin Diesel's with us. All right. Hey, Vin. Uh, little fact, um, Vin Diesel is a rather cool guy because he has that that little bit of geek in him. Uh, not a lot of people know that. Uh, he is a fan of the Dungeons & Dragons role-playing game. And I believe he's also played World of Warcraft, has an account. And unfortunately, with the loss of the actor Paul Walker, I guess those guys used to play together. That was unfortunate. He was a good guy. Uh, apparently, Vin had posted a video of those two gaming together. So I can only imagine the fun those two had together. They were horrid. We're going to level up. Boom! Oh, a worn turtle shield. There's no way you could feel epic having that thing at all. But I get it. If you're desperate, you're desperate. You take it. Vin Diesel's going, uh... Vin Diesel's going fast and furious there. <laughs> I promise, I won't do those type of puns often. Jump! Aha. Ah, uh, here it is. This is the special event. So what he's basically going to do is uh, wake him up, I believe. What's uh, going to happen is a creature called the Murloc. Murloc. You'll hear that name frequently in the World of Warcraft universe. Will come out. And we have to kill him. Once uh, Speedy Gonzalez here gets here. There we go. Ah, there's the Murloc. Yes. There we go. Wailing Caverns is now done. Boom. 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 Yeah. All right. This is our last one with... This is our last one with Quagdar. Wow. This is one big-ass Kodo. This is the Kodo mount for the Torrens. Those are the cow people that I keep referencing. Uh, little fact, uh, Torin. If you play a Torin, did you know the Torin is an anagram for the word nature? And also, originally, the Torins had no uh, mount of their own. Every other 
every other class did, every other every other faction did. Uh, the Torrens had something called plane striding because they were deemed so big it wouldn't make sense. But they wanted their own, so Blizzard gave it to them. All right, so apparently there's a bunch of pansy orcs that are scared that the elves will come out and destroy them. Something you doing? Work, work, work. <sighs> okay, have I motivated enough of you people? Okay, these people are about to not have any wood for their encampment because they're apparently not cutting it shit fast enough. And that's driving me insane. Oh, if you disappear so help me, I'll put my fist through the monitor. Ah, what a clever uh, quest name. Needs a little lubrication. So we're killing these slime creatures for that. And, of course, it's going to be one of those. See, what makes it so painful right now is that... While we're doing these, uh, this is one quest at a time. Literally. One quest. One freaking quest. Okay? Yeah, shoot me now. Yes, I like my quests to be numerous and in abundance. Boy, you can just hear the... Like, just like just so slow if this thing could talk it would probably sound like eeyore so i just went ahead since we had no more quests left and it's kind of pointless to take quests on on quag darf at this point as it is uh threw us back in wailing caverns to literally just grind out the last little bit of it and once we hit 25 we can go ahead and transition over to our main character, Quagdar. And there it is. Okay. So, boom! Level 25. We can now transition over to old Quagdar. Uh, and as we say farewell to old Quagdarf, we finally get to have Quagdar coming in the picture. So, uh, we are going to... Oh, check this out, guys, by the way. Uh, Ghost Wolf with the little shield much faster much 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 faster that that little glyph oh my god this is night and day <laughs> we got super speed now uh that's gonna come in handy for leveling purposes to get around it's nice it's nice let's get back to some seriousness let's stop fooling around here quagdar in the house perfect look at that things are already working out for us because we already have the elevator waiting for us yeah another purple dragon there's a back door to the Horde base that a lot of people uh, think to use. That's exactly where we're going. Valley of Spirits. Ooh. Sounds ethereal. But there's nothing special about it. Seriously, it's just kind of like where the trolls kind of got shoved. Here, let you drink some water. Mmm. Good old coconut water. So at the rate we're going, I'm feeling that we're going to be seeing Battlegrounds for the first time. Maybe I'll keep that for episode three. Make sure we don't get pwned by this big SOB right here. Oh my god, run, run, run! Ha 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 ha! Ah, outran his ass. Ah, I heard something. Come out, I, I want to show you my two maces. Ah, look at them! Aren't they cool? That's my maces. I showed her my weapons, but she died it. <laughs> yes. Yes, get them cowmen. For the horde, yes. Indeed, I will go report our victory. And that's where we go ahead and split ways. Okay, trying to find these stupid night elves. Pain in the ass. Aha! So while we have these blue items that uh, we are starting to see throughout our journey, they also have purple items, which actually I have an example of right here. The little purple text uh, for items, that means it's even better, uh, statistically, called epics. So a lot of people like epic loot. So one of the reasons why I was insistent on keeping this character not starting over from scratch is because that particular item, once it's gone, it's gone. I cannot get it back on a different character. Okay, come on. Speaking of purple, where the hell are the night elves? There's also uh, items with orange text. Ooh. Like that orange text. 
Yes, you'll find out about those. Those are called legendary items. Boom! Ding! 26. We may, ooh, Black Fathom Depths. Yes, we're gonna enter that dungeon. We may start uh, just migrating over to different areas of the continents because I, I'm feeling that we are starting to out-level the areas that we are in. How you doing? Either Storm Strike hits that hard or uh, I'm running into the, the battle way too late. <laughs> it's probably that. Listen to that dude. He's got a funny voice. Kill them! Kill them! They fit through the earth! And this is amazing because so many people fall on this. It's embarrassing. Whoop! Bah! But it'd be hilarious if I was be the one to fall. Anybody do it? Yep! I knew it! So big and mysterious is the Black Fathom Depths. Yes! Yes! This really is one of uh, the cooler dungeons that they have in the game. I love the fact that it's just kind of hidden under under uh, the ruins of uh, an old temple. Oh, this guy's like a new boss. <laughs> wow, did we level again? We're gonna turn these in and migrate out of Ashenvale because uh, we're really starting to notice that we have out leveled this place way too easy to dominate in here and the quest text is turning green on us which that indicates we have out leveled this area or we're getting there we're getting there just one of those things uh, especially with uh, accelerated experience leveling uh, seasoned vets of World of Warcraft uh, get the benefit of having experience boosts uh, people that are starting starting it from scratch, not so much. I know they want to rush and just get there, but sometimes it's good to just uh, enjoy the journey. Okay, we're back. Uh, was that quick for you? It was long for me. Another flight path. Ooh, yeah. Ah, some alliance to here to mess with, uh... With the horde. All right, so that'll be fun. So may as well grab these quests now while I can before they get blown up. Like a dive boat, Captain. Dive, dive, dive. Among many other disgusting quests that you do in this game, this one requires us to kill these giant uh, bear elf looking things and take their ears. Rather brutal. But if that's what we have to do, we'll do it. Literally hammered the shit out of him. Well, I don't know about literally. That'd be gross if that was literal. There are quaint little homes, logs with doors. Yes, I would imagine he would be raging mad. I mean, my god, look what we're doing to all of his friends. One more of these uh, bad boys, and that should do it for us on this particular quest anyways. Let's go ahead and bash the crap out of his head. And go ahead and demolish this guy too for fun. Regretting your decision to attack Quagdar. Realistically, we could be doing Stranglethorn Vale. And only because it has a lot of history do I really feel like I should be in that area. So we may do a nice long cut over to Stranglethorn Vale. Gonna slow down here for a little bit. We got our first guild invite to Morbid Angels. So I wanna thank them very much for letting me join. And I look forward to slaying many things with them. Ah, uh, Morty. Thank you so much, Morty. Oh my God, the boat, the boat, the boat, the boat. Hurry, 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 hurry. You guys remember this, huh? Ratchet? Yeah, it feels like it's been forever since we've been there. Well, of course for you guys it won't. So this will be fun. In this episode, you guys also get to see, uh, for those that do not know, what these actually do. So uh, we're going to take that and traverse over to the continent of the Eastern Kingdoms and do some damage over there. We're gonna get lost in a little jungle over there called Stranglethorn Vale. So looking forward to that. That's gonna be a hoot. This is Booty Bay. It's a hot sounded name right there. But no, it's not what you think uh, with Booty Bay. Uh, you don't do that type of stuff here. This one's always fun. If you like pirates, are I like pirates. 
You'll have fun with this place. I'm going to get us over to the nearest horde base so we can start getting some quests from there. So, wolf power, activate. All right. We're finally making it to the uh, the area for the horde. Ooh, wow, that's uh, <clears throat> kind of brutal. Praise this serpent, men. All right, come on, die. Oh, I'm not even facing them. Apparently, I'm not facing them. Be helpful to face them. Ah, yes, got it. Yes. Never had a class before that could heal itself. Well, I played a paladin for a little bit a long time ago, and that was my only experience ever with healing, and that's where I developed my appreciation for the healers out there. So if you are a healer, take great pride in the fact that I know your pains. You are both loved and hated at the same time. Yeah, it's, it's not fun at all, because all these fun little graphics that they have in the game, you're, you don't see it. Nope. Unless you're leveling up by yourself, you're not going to see it. What you see are health bars. That's basically it. Don't know how you guys do it. Tiger. Tiger stuff. I need tiger stuff now. So that was the panthers. The tigers should be over here because they do like to segregate them uh, into different areas. Nope, nope. Still in pantherville. Still in pantherville. There we are. What I tell you. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you, we're fairly late in the game, in my opinion, and we still have empty slots. But the prices on the auction house are beyond insane. For the crap you're getting, that's just going to be replaced in the mere matter of levels? I don't think so. Not now, not ever. I would rather muscle through it. Come on, tigers. Come out, kittens. Where are you? Oh my god. Okay, enough with the panthers. Oh my god. I knew this quest was not going to be easy. There was a catch. There we go. Come on. Boom! Hit him so hard we leveled. Truly, I think Blizzard went out of their way on the research to find that tigers were an endangered species and decided to reflect that in this game. And this is why uh, they also refer to this place as Stranglethorn Hell. Aha! Yes! Seriously, gang, right there, you could totally take a picture of me uh, and make one of those motivational posters, call it Determination, and have a picture of me going... Oh! And we died. So we registered our first death. Little uh, piece of the lore here is that these Naga that we're killing uh, were originally night elves. So I'm liking the shaman class. Uh, some of the uh, utility that they have, it's pretty darn cool. Now a mage. I also have a mage. Oh my god. Going from a warrior to a mage, I felt like I was cheating. Different experience altogether. Absolutely loved it. So if you are looking for a fun experience, also look at uh, the mage. They can teleport around, save you a lot of traveling time. A lot of really good utility. A lot of get out of jail free cards in my opinion. So we are back at Booty Bay right now. So we're going in this uh, little pub right here. Check out the pub to get the flight path. I know that there's a flight path up here. It's kind of cool. Ooh, a uh, beautiful young lady down here. Well, they increased the uh, polygon count on the uh, blood elves. They finally, they needed it. Surprise! <laughs> Yeah, so something I'll go ahead and throw in there is a little bit of trivia kind of about me and the name Quagdar. Uh, one of my buddies recommended maybe I should go ahead and inform you guys of where that name came from, that little gem. It's a variation of my last name, and I like barbarian type of movies, Viking type movies, and the word Dar sounded very Neanderthalish. By taking a part of my last name and combining it with Dar, I came up with Quagdar. And the reason why I'm sticking with that is Kind of like a little inside joke. I had a character on Monster Hunter for my PSP, and one of my coworker buddies uh, saw it on my PSP, and I, I needed a name, and they never let me live it down, ever. So to this day, sometimes they'll refer to me as Quagdar. So there's a little bit of trivia about myself. If you have a unique username that uh, you're using on this thing we call the internets, uh, go ahead, leave comments below. You know, tell us why you 
you have that name. Yeah, you know, how did you come up with that name? It's always interesting to hear how people come up with their usernames on the internet. In a little bit, I'm gonna be popping on screen one of the trading cards. Yes, I'm gonna have my trading card giveaways that for right now, I'm still trying to figure out a good way to have a uh, an actual contest for it. I think I'm going in a particular direction, but for right now, I figure these are some things that I could just kind of give away. And if people want to go ahead and retrieve it, well, may the first person to it win. And the current giveaways are going to be sandbox tiger toys that you can have in the game. So you can have little spectral tigers and they are miniature little versions of this guy that just rock back and forth. So if you think he's cool, you can go ahead and have a little version of it for yourself. Wolf it up! Yes! We did it. Did I bludgeon you too hard there, sir? I have no idea where we're going. Looks like a little alliance territory right there. I'm really uh, for the horde for the alliance type person, actually. To make sure we get inside of an inn to get rested experience. And you always want to log out in an inn. So you'll see the little character portrait up there with us with the wolf. You'll see three Zs as if he's sleeping. Him or her. I do not exclude the ladies. I know you play too. Actually, quite a few women play uh, World of Warcraft. Very diverse. Young, old, male, female, doesn't matter. We all join in and play. We all have fun. So those are going to be good upgrades. Of course, why is it always on the opposite end? So we are going to Hearthstone out. That brings us back to, uh, you can have a set location that you can always go back to. Right now, ours is set to the, the Horde's main city, uh, Orgrimmar. And see, all right up there, we have our three Zs. So the entire city, you can just go ahead and rest in. You don't have to be in an inn in particular when you're in a main faction city. So we'll go ahead and just soak up that rested XP, gang. Ah. Guys, this one was really jam-packed with a lot of stuff. You guys got to see a lot of dungeons. You got to see a lot of new lands. You got to travel across the ocean to see what's going on on the other continent. And my personal favorite, we finally got to move a hell of a lot faster in the game. Next up, we're going to be doing levels 30 through 40. This is where we go ahead and start slowing it down a little bit. We're not going to be doing 15 levels. We're going to be doing 10 levels at a time. So you guys be safe, take care, and I will see you guys next time.